so I am back again with another recipe. This time, I'm going to use the poi that I showed you guys how I made it. I'm going to mix the poi that I made. Um, this one, I, I did not make it the traditional way. Traditional way of making poi is pounding it uh, for such a long time um, back in the days. But with today's technology and, you know, um, gadgets that we have into the kitchen, I just use a food processor because I wanted to, um, I didn't want to have the traditional poi in the sense of like enjoying it. I just wanted to be able to have it so that I could um, mix it with my, um, my fried mochi. So I'm going to need about two pounds of poi, two boxes of the mochiko flour, and then some water, um, about maybe uh, two cups, uh, two cups of water, but uh, for this recipe, I'm going to use coconut milk instead of just a plain water, and then um, just maybe a teaspoon of baking powder just to give it that little fluff, and then also I'm going to add coconut flakes. You don't need to add coconut flakes, but um, when I make this, I make half batch plain and then half batch with coconut flakes for um, hubby and I. The kids like the plain ones. Okay, I went ahead and got a large bowl. I put everything in there. I put the the mochiko flour. Okay, so this is um I have plenty of boxes. I put um mochiko flour in here, and then I put um about roughly three quarters cup of sugar. Depends on how sweet you want it. You can add a cup, cup and a half. Um, I just put three quarters. I put just a um, half a teaspoon of the baking powder just to give it a little bit of a fluff. And, and then I put um, one cup of the, the coconut milk in there. I'm going to mix this well, and then I'm going to add um, my poi. Okay, roughly mixed it. Now I went ahead and added my poi, and then I'm going to add some more coconut milk because it's a bit um, dry. So you're going to um, keep adding water. Um, to the right consistency and the consistency should be that you're able to form it into a, a ball or just drop it in with a with a spoon into the uh, frying pan of, of hot oil okay all right so here is um, all the products mixed together and I also added some water in there because it was very dry so I like it to be this consistency so then I'm able to go ahead and form it into a ball um, but for today, instead of a ball, I am making them into like little, like um, half dollar uh, sizes. Um, the kids like it that way. But traditionally, it's like, um, it's round so that it's airy on the inside. But for me, the family, the kids like it these, these sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and fry them up until they're golden brown. Just gently drop them into the hot oil and keep an eye on it. Make sure it's golden brown on both sides. All right, friends, so here is my fried mochi, and then I have um, my little sauce in here that I'm just gonna drizzle over. Look at that. And this sauce is just hot PM. Get some sweetness in there, because like I said, that poi is very bland. And there you go. My version of fried poi mochi. Mahalo.